This is your guy, S.D. Booker, with the Toast to the Men. Before you listen to this video, hit the subscribe button. Definitely hit the like button. Hit that like button. Let's go. Get your glasses up. Get your glasses up. A toast to the Men. Welcome to A Toast to the Men with your guy, S.D. Booker. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for the support. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button before we get started. Let's go. There is a petition to remove or cancel Kevin Samuels from the social media culture. Let's talk about it. Wow, this is, uh, this is not a shock. I knew this was coming. I saw it coming from a mile away. It was just a matter of time. And um, first off, I don't agree with it. I don't think Kevin Samuels should be canceled or uh, exed from the social media culture or environment, uh, reason being, I think everybody should have a voice and be able to express that voice and their perspective, their viewpoints, even if I disagree, even if it's hate speech, because everybody is gonna see things from my way. Everybody doesn't have my experiences, my background, my perspective. Everybody has their own perspective, their own voice, and they should be able to share that. They should have freedom of speech. Although freedom of speech does not apply or is not protected on social media. Even in the world, when you exercise your freedom of speech, is it really free? There are consequences when you go against the grain, when you veer off away from the general public, when your views are looked upon as eccentric or extreme. You know, you can pay a high penalty, a high price for expressing or utilizing or exercising your freedom of speech. I did a video on Kevin Samuels uh, back a few months ago when he got into a little back and forth with Dr. Umar Johnson. And I gave my take on how I feel about uh, Kevin Samuels. I'm not a supporter. Um, I'm not against him either. There's some things I agree with. There's some things I don't vibe with. And that's what most people. I don't vibe with everything Martin Luther King stood for. I don't vibe with everything Malcolm X stood for. I do vibe, vibe with some things Donald Trump stands for. That's just the way it is, right? Um, I don't agree or disagree with everything a person has to say. You know, I don't, I don't think that's realistic. I don't even think that's, <clears throat> that's common sense. So um, I'm wise enough to extract what's healthy, what's beneficial, what's relevant to my life and discard what doesn't apply to me or, or what's not beneficial to me. So that's my take with Kevin Samuels. Um, now this whole thing started uh, because <clears throat> a young lady posted on social media that uh, Kevin Samuels needs to be needs to be counseled. It caught the wind of another young lady, and um, she put it on her page, and uh, I think created a uh, a, a uh, initiative on Change.org. That's where I first saw it. And this thing just kind of took off like wildfire. And at this point, I think they have over 13,000 signatures. And so, you know, it's, it's gaining some traction. Uh, will he be removed or counsel? I don't think so. I don't think so. That was set uh, a crazy precedent because although rough around the edges and, uh, in my opinion, uh, he's immature in a lot of ways. 
um, he shouldn't be counseled because you know women disagree with him or men disagree with him. He shouldn't be counseled. He is rough. He is uh, straight to the point. Doesn't hold any punches. But hey, that's his perspective. That's his take. That's his vibration. His frequency is not mine. But we can't counsel the man for that. Um, there's women on this petition that have said they've tried to commit suicide. There's women that said uh, they've been harassed due to Kevin Samuels on the job because men are following him and bringing that energy to the workforce. Um, it goes on and on. Um, is all this true? You know, I don't know. But my take on it is, is, is so what? So what? And it's a bigger discussion to be had about this. This is why, this is why uh, men and women are not the same. I had a brief discussion with a young lady not too long ago, maybe two days ago, that uh, she said women have evolved. And I go, have they really? You know, on the surface, on the outside, it may look like they've evolved, but women are suffering for more ailments than ever before because they're out of order. Out of order, man. Women, man, they have a higher rate of dementia, of Alzheimer's. All they, although they may live longer than men, what's the quality of life? All right? Um, man, most women, man, are stressed to the bone. And they want to say they've evolved. <laughs> no, you haven't evolved. Uh, when you evolve, evolve, you do it seamlessly, right? Uh, it's not forced. And it's, an, it's a natural evolution. And you shouldn't be stressed. You shouldn't have all these ailments. So I, I don't think women have evolved. In uh, case in point, women are complaining. All right? That's one thing men don't do. We don't complain. So have women really evolved emotionally, psychologically, right? Men have been getting attacked forever, forever. Man, you just go on social media, men are always getting attacked by high, high level, high visible, highly visible personalities on social media. We get attacked constantly. When we were being attacked by Derrick Jackson, we didn't try to counsel Derrick Jackson. We called him out for what he was. We knew what he was, pandering to women, a simp. We knew he would be exposed eventually, but we didn't try to counsel the man. We constantly get uh, beat up and degraded, you know, throughout the world, especially on social media, but we take it. We take it. We don't try to counsel anyone. We take it. Take it in stride. But females and, the, you know, the gay community, they will try to counsel you if you oppose them, if you crit critique them. All right? They'll try to counsel you. So, uh, yeah, so it's, it's, uh, it's funny. It's funny how, how all this is taking fold, <clears throat> but um, that man should not be counseled. Take it, take it, man. If y'all love Derrick Jackson, you gotta take the bitterness with the sweet. Kevin Samuels is the bitterness. Derrick Jackson was your sweetness. So you gotta take some Kevin Samuels also. Don't try to counsel the man. And uh, yeah, deal with it. But um, yeah, this is funny. But we got to be very careful in general, as a whole, as a people, of trying to counsel people. Um, because when you try to muzzle someone, silence someone, that ends any chance 
for understanding on both ends that ends any discussion, any resolution, potential resolution that ends it. And what happens is most times when people are muzzled, silenced, they go into the dark and they start plotting and building, strategizing. And they get other people, they rally other people who think and feel just like them. And then they rise from that darkness and you got a whole mess to deal with. A whole mess to deal with. Uh, a la Black Panthers, a la Skinheads, a la KKK. Uh, we can go on and on. Um, you know, we go on and on, the fascist groups. Um, Taliban, we can go on and on. So it's best to try to get an understanding, to listen, sit down, try to understand, ask questions, why people feel the way they feel, what's motivating their actions. And you can learn a lot. They can learn a lot if people are willing to have a grown up discussion. So again, although I'm not a Kevin Samuel supporter, uh, I do agree with some of the things he says. I, I disagree with a lot of his energy, not so much what he says, but I, I, I disagree with his energy, his vibe, man. That, I'm just a different kind of cat. So, uh, you know, I would never go back and forth with a woman and maybe that's chauvinistic of me. Uh, <clears throat> I won't go into detail why I wouldn't do that. But, yeah, I just, I don't see myself going back and forth, arguing, uh, berating a woman. Really, I'm only concerned about the women in my circle. That's it. Um, I don't speak to the masses or the female demographic. If they can catch some nuggets, cool. If they reach out to me, cool. But to speak and direct my message to the masses uh, in regards to the female demographic, nah, that, that's not me. That's not me. Um, I haven't seen a brother able to do it without having sex with them or without being on the down low. So uh, that's my take on it. But yeah. That's my two cents. That brother should not be counseled. Let him speak his mind, share his story, his perspective. And uh, I will want the same for you. And I want the same for me. And uh, yeah, got to be careful about wanting to counsel people. Louis Farrakhan is banned from social media. Yeah, yeah. Donald Trump banned from social media. Alex Jones banned from social media. Is that the right position to take? I think not. I think not. And uh, I think we're gonna have a price to pay when we start trying to silence people. That's a dangerous game. And so, hey, my two cents. As always, it's love from me to you. Peace.